The refugee from a locked co- coffin. A shocking and spine chilling as a sour in the night. Is this story of a murdered man who walked the earth? He took vengeance in his own bloody hands and used fear as a weapon to throttle a killer. There is no escape from the horrible revenge of the man who wouldn't stay murdered. Stay away, you're dead. I killed you over and over. Ah, that's what you think, you murderer. Roger Simon, junior partner of the Bexville and Simon works late over the books. What a mess. I hope Frank can explain this. By its side, a murder lurks in the shadows. Looks like Roger is wise to me. He knows I've been stealing money from the firm. I've been expecting this. Good night for good night for it. The building's deserted deserted. No one will be at the office until Monday morning. Too bad Roger had to snoop. Goodbye, Roger. We'll never see me go to jail for Ben Bezling. In the long second of his life, Robin, Roger Simon, he's a noise, and Frank, Frank Dinsel, who are you, what are you, ah, pretty neat. Now I'll put the, the gun in his hand. That does it. Took me a month to get Roger's handwriting down. The Pat Paul guy, robbing the firm and committing suicide. Mad to go just about... Uh, as bank Brazil thought they would. Looks like open and shut, Mr. Dizzle, and books show that money's missing. Right, and that, that Simon's confession seems to explain everything. Yes, poor devil, only he had told me I would have helped him gladly. Frank Dizzle suffers of no pangs of conscience. One night, a few weeks later, Good, the firm is making a lot of money since I got rid of Roger. I'll be rich soon. Knocking, suddenly there's a knock on the door. Knocking at the door. Hey, someone looking at this. Ah, someone's looking at this hour. But the building's deserted. Well, come in wherever, wherever you are. Don't stand there. Door swings open. Slowly back, and there is Roger Simon. Hello, Frank. Fixing the books again. Oh, Roger. No, you're dead. Ah, oh, my Frank, I suppose you should... No, you killed me, didn't you? But you st- I don't understand any of this. I killed you once, I'll do it again. A frenzy of fear and rage. Dreadsville fires again and again. A man he was already murdered once. It's a good job of this time. Maybe you'll stay dead. After his first terrible shock, Denzel begins the plans shrewdly. A trick of Rogers, he pretended to be dead. He then went to the police, they tried to trap me, but I'll hide his body and get away yet. Good thing I've been accumulating cash in Mexico, for they know that I really killed Roger this time. There's a little plane, late plane tonight from Mexico City. Ah, uh, Roger, you're clever, but not clever enough. Try to scare me into confessing an old gag. Don't know this part of town. Very well, I'd better ask this fellow how to get to the airport. Hey, how do you get to the airport, Frank? Leaving town, Frank? Loot, no doubt. You again? No, you're not really here. I killed you. I put you in the storage room back there. I know, Frank, but you put me you put me in my grave too. I didn't say there. The scream of terror, Frank Dazzle leaps into his window. Oh, All right, I'll kill you again then. I won't stay dead, Frank. There, there, I, I'll beat your, your skull to a pulp. Again, again, Dazzle smashes at the skull of the grave. Okay, this time, just make sure. You won't bother me again. Three times now, I, one, I've killed him. Must be going mad. This taxi goes straight to the airport. Hey, cab, right with you, mister. Take me to the airport, sure. Soon Dex will notice something wrong. Hey, driver, this is the way to the airport, I said. I, I, I know what you said, mister. I thought you might want to go to the police station, said Frank. How about it? Ah, leave me out. 
Help, leave me alone. Come back, Frank. Later in the cool night air, Dezor regained some of his nerve. I've got to think it's a trick. I know it. I want me to crack up. If only could be sure. All right. I know. I'll go see Dr. Sachs. I've got to see you, Doctor. It's life or death now, tonight. Well, all right. Come to my office immediately. So a few minutes later, I'm wasting time. I've got to take a chance. Time, time. The doctor know if it's only my nerves acting up. If only my imagination. I don't need to leave town. A doc is one of the best. Doc Sack, are you around? It's Frank Dever. Come in, Mister. I've been expecting you, Frank. Make yourself comfortable. Eee! A shudder, sound racks through the. But a sick brain of Frank Dazelle, the sound of his nerves smashing into pieces. Let me out! Help! Please save me! Gah! By a la- last, Frank, the police are out just outside. Help! Please arrest me! Save me! I did it! I did it! I murdered him! Only he wouldn't stay dead! Don't let him get me! Help me! That's what we want to know, Dazelle. You're under arrest for murder. Later, the police have locked up a sniveling, hysterical killer. I hand it to you, Brophy. Your trick with a mask sure worked. But what loony might have that might have clearly killed you? Not likely with those new plastic bulletproof vests we got. Those plastic helmets take terrific beating. It was easy with all those guys helping me. Of course, I might have arrested Denzel right away. This way, there's no doubt. Well, you did it. I smart to figure out. You might do. What? You might go, go to the dock, and have him call you in time. So you could get there. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I want to get ten hours of sleep and forget this case. But a minute that night, to, later that night, Detective Brophy wakes from a terrible slumber. Hey, who are you? You look just look like. Yes, I'm Roger. Rather, I'm all left left of him, the ghost. I want to thank you, Detective Brophy, for catching my murderer so cleverly. I was afraid that he'll get away with it. And now goodbye. I'll be. You'll never s- know. It's well just the same. I'm not seeing anything about this at the pre-tick. And put me right in with Dexter.